All right, we are taking a look at a, a huge tract of, of wooded property, 53.85 acres in northern Fulton County, Arkansas at the White Ranch Project. This is tract 19. It's the biggest tract here. Uh, that's the easement road. As we look to the east, you can actually see the, the cul-de-sac at the end of the easement road. So this is right toward the end. Uh, and that's the, the private driveway that goes into the property. Those trees that you see that, that were down on each side of the, the driveway, uh, that is not from any, any logging. Um, that is just from the easement road being widened and improved and possibly from the driveway in sight. Uh, so no recent logging out here at all that, that we saw any signs of. So the truck has just pulled off the easement road and uh, we're facing south. So I, I hope we're going to do a full flyover. This is a, a fairly uh, long drone video. This is a spectacular property. You're going to see some gorgeous timber. Just from right here, I mean, I can see dozens of mature pine trees. You're gonna have plenty of, of uh, hardwoods, red oaks, white oaks, hickories as well, but it's pretty cool seeing those big, tall, straight pines, especially if you've ever thought about doing a, an authentic log cabin. Uh, if you've priced, <laughs> priced the logs, then you know the value of having uh, tall, straight pine trees on your property. Okay, so flying southerly. Um, the driveway and the site were recently cleared. They went in probably with a, a chainsaw and removed the, the bigger stuff and then um, used a mulcher for the, the medium and small trees, so there is a layer of mulch on the ground. That's what you're seeing there. And I thought that was the site, but it's it's even deeper than that. Look at all those big pines. That is amazing. It is really hard to find big pines like this. Okay, so there's the site. So that's that site is deep into the property. I mean, this is a huge tract. Uh, and this doesn't scratch the surface, but that site has got to be 500 feet back from the road. So they've cleared it out uh, with the mulcher. It looks like they've left one or two mature trees. Uh, they do that just to kind of make it interesting. If you look at the edge of the site, there's actually uh, an old tree stand there on a pine tree. That's kind of funny. So that's probably been there for years. This is, a, as we said, part of uh, uh, the White Ranch Project, which was a a, a large tract of hunting land that was essentially hunted by just uh, a small group of guys for decades and we have found uh, tree stands and, and uh, that kind of stuff feeders and, and whatnot uh, all over the place okay so now we're looking south the only only thing I don't love about this video is it looks like it was taken on a really overcast day but we're still gonna get a good look at uh, the property and how the ground lays as we go southerly from that site, it uh, slopes down, and actually Pine Creek crosses directly over the property. So Pine Creek, it is a named creek, which is pretty cool, uh, but it is going to be kind of a seasonal creek or wet weather creek. Um, it's going to have water in it at, at different times throughout the year, but, but not year-round. As we look southerly, if you see that, uh, that knoll directly in front of us, uh, that is directly on the property, and you can look at the topo map to, to see what we mean by that. But, I mean, that's um, essentially the, the more or less the whole top of that knoll is right on the property. So if you wanted to do an absolutely one-of-a-kind building site or campsite, uh, man, creating a trail down to that or south to that knoll um, would be unbelievable. And as we fly southerly... We're getting just a glimpse at some of this big mature timber on the property. Gorgeous area. This is only about five miles from the White Branch Conservation Area, um, which is five or six thousand acres of, of land, uh, uh, public land that, that you can generally use for hunting and trail riding and, and the, all that good stuff. Uh, the Spring River runs through the conservation area. So swimming, fishing, kayaking, all that good stuff. That's, that's literally about five miles to the north from this property. So we're, I believe we're facing east. It's hard to kind of lost track of our direction here. 
I mean, definitely check out the full listing page because we do have the interactive map, which has a topo map layer, which is really handy. Uh, check out the intro video where we kind of walk through the, the topo map. That's great as well. In general, the, the darker green trees that we're seeing are the pine trees, and the medium and lighter green trees are going to be um, red oak, white oak, hickory trees, I mean, all, all kinds of other good stuff. So we've actually only seen a small portion of this property. Um, we maybe, maybe got halfway into it, but if you remember that big knoll that we talked about, once you get beyond that, the property actually widens out, uh, and there is just a, a lot of ground out here. The site is great. It's, it's awesome to see a private site like that, and it gives you the ability to essentially pull directly off the easement road without having to mess around. Um, the site looks like it would be big enough to, to pull even a good-sized trailer in and get turned around maybe pitch your tent there or, or put your camper or, or RV right there. Um, if you've been looking for land, you know it's hard to find these bigger tracts. Uh, it's, it's literally getting harder all the time to find uh, any good quality wooded land. Uh, recently, the last year or two, the vast majority of land that, that we look at has had recent logging. Uh, in this case, um, there's some beautiful timber out here. Again, the trees that you see that are, are down are from um, widening and improving the easement road and, of course, doing the driveway and the, and the site on the property. So now we're looking southerly. The deer and the turkey population is phenomenal out here. With a tract of this size, I mean, even without, you know, doing any, any kind of wildlife management, you're going to have... Um, quite a few uh, deer and, and turkey on your property. If you ended up wanting to, to uh, you know, do some food plots or, or even just uh, salt licks, something to, to entice them, um, you would certainly have, uh, I was looking at the timber and lost my train of thought, you would certainly have a, you know, your own private uh, almost wildlife sanctuary out here on 53 acres 53.85 acres so looking westerly on the easement road property on the left side the private easement road is awesome it ends just a couple hundred feet past the property uh, there you go so check out the website if you're not already there complete owner financing if you have any questions shoot us an email or uh, give us a phone call we would love to talk to you